Hey there guys, my name is Yaro Suleiman Bawa. Welcome back to YSB Assignments. Hey there guys, my name is Yaro Suleiman Bawa. Welcome back to YSB Assignments. Hey there guys, my name is Yaro Suleiman Bawa. Welcome back to YSB Assignments. Hey there guys, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel. Alright, so today I'll be teaching you how to use Kinemaster to change your background video. Hi, my name is Jaro Suleiman Bawa. Welcome back to my channel, YSB Assignments. Okay, so this is the original green screen. So as you can see, it has a green screen background behind it. For this particular video, I'll be using an animation video I created on Render Forest. And if you can see by the top left hand corner. Okay, first step, launch your Kinema style. So we'll be starting with the editing of the um, blue screen. Select the correct aspect ratio, which is 16 ratio 9. Alright, click on media, select your background. Afterwards, extend your background for like 10 seconds. Okay, now click on your vignette and the vignette will give you that cinematic quality to the to your video so it's unnecessary that you click on the vignette it's just optional but me i'll click on my vignette to give it a cinematic quality next up click on layer click on media then select the video you shot earlier so i'll be selecting the intro to my um to my latest youtube video Okay, so as you can see, the video is not full screen yet. So I have to highlight the video by clicking on the video. Then I'll click on the screen icon in between the scissors and the volume icons. And I can click on full screen. Next up, turn on your chroma key. All right, so you can see um, Kinemaster has suggested a key color for us already, which is a blue color. Make sure you retain that color because usually the key color is usually correct. So now you have to change the percentage of background color and specimen color. So keep adjusting, just follow my lead, keep adjusting until you get the correct quality and the background changes. So keep um, adjusting the specimen color, which is the top right one, and the background color, which is the bottom right left one. Ask. So the specimen has to be completely white and the background has to be completely black. But my specimen is having an extended completely white um, head so there's an error there and this is due to poor lightning while shooting so i didn't have enough lightning on my specimen while shooting so next you have to click on your overlay after cl click on blend blending and click on overlay so this overlay will help us to remove that extended color now let's go back to chroma key now try to adjust your chroma key again and see if you get the perfect um, background change. But note this, you might have gotten your background change the first time you tried it. I didn't get mine because of the poor lightning I did, I had while shooting. Okay, so now I have to alter my chroma key settings after turning on the overlay. Okay, so let's play again and see. Alright, so I can see I can see the top of my head is still having a black hole, and this black hole is just simply due to poor lightning while shooting. So make sure you have enough lightning while shooting. So next, I'll try to trim my background. Make sure the background is equal length as the video. All you have to do is just highlight the background and click the background, then click on the scissors to cut it. So let's go back to our blending overlay make sure it's turned on so if you see the normal color the normal color is brighter than the overlay so if you got your lightning done properly while shooting you don't have to use the overlay just use your normal color and to be very bright let's go back to um watching the video again see if there's the errors i can see an obvious error at the top of my head there's a black hole there again then my right my left shoulder 
So we'll go back to chroma key and try to adjust the settings again. You might not have this difficulty while editing if you did your lightning properly. So I'm trying to like combat the lightning problem I had while shooting. So change or alter the settings again. Now you can see my teeth having some brown color. That is very weird. <laughs> On my right le left hand shoulder too so next we we'll click on detail curve now make your detail curve editing just the way i did mine bring it down to the right angle to the diagonal of the right angle now edit or change or alter your chroma key settings again now you can see the background is tr coming out in a better way and the specimen that is me i'm looking much more better in the background so I'll play one more time to see how it goes all right so if you're enjoying this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get more um, videos whenever i drop a video so now for the other background that's a green screen select a new background following the initial steps you took and select your video notice if you want to select your video you have to click on layer first from layer you click on media from media you select the folder that your video is in and click on the video please extend your background to the length of your video all you have to do is highlight your background and drag it to the length of your video as you can see this animation video i'm editing has a green background initially but because i have a new background and using the chroma key settings i will change the background again so you can turn on your vignettes afterwards let's go back to our chroma key now turn on your chroma key you see your key color suggested by kinemaster is green that's perfect so adjust or alter the um, background and specimen colors you can alter it to the percentage i'm using i'll try to get like 65 66 then 33 it's not a standard um um ratio you know no most just keep altering your your percentage um background and specimen um colors until you get the perfect fit where your specimen is popping out of the background so let's watch the video a bit i think i have a relatively cool um adjustment already where i can do much better so let's play the video from the start again all right so i got the first one right the intro that's a blue screen now the next is the um, green screen the animation video created on render forest dot com so you can check out my other videos on how to remove watermark from render forest videos the link is in the description below plus how to create videos on renderforest.com animation videos now the next thing i want you to do is to turn on your show mask now as you can see this show mask is showing perfectly white and perfectly black so there's no error in the animation video because render forest really makes error they are very good so perfect white perfect um black now my, for my third color i'll be choosing a red background so all the steps are the same you don't have to change too much just click on media select your background so choose from the folder where you save the background and select the background as you can see very easy very easy now i will trim my background to make it very um short i've selected a third um, background all using the same process so to select your first your second your third background uses the same process as the first background click on media look for the folder click on the folder now you can see my main intro video it has slight errors at the top but i'll take this <laughs> yeah next i will try to have better lighting to my video to avoid the stress of editing black holes next click on the share icon then export your video thanks for watching